entire trailer. Alright? Not including any other stuff that connects the tractor and trailer together. Alright. So see you're gonna start off with your bulkhead. Right in the front of your trailer. Probably about as secure, not cracked, better broken. And there are no broken or missing rivets. Got a shitty illegal sticker. Then you're gonna go up top to your clearance light. Properly mounted, secure, not cracked or broken. Amber in color, functions properly. All the way down the side, you have your trailer frame. Properly mounted, secure, not cracked, better broken. Free of illegal welds or drill holes. DOC reflective tank. Properly mounted, secured, and at least 80% visible. Underneath, you have your cross members. Properly mounted, secured, not cracked, better broken. Landing gear. So landing gear frame, properly mounted, secured, not cracked, better broken. Free of illegal welds or drill holes. Landing legs, properly mounted, secured, not cracked, better broken. Sand shoes, properly mounted, secured, not cracked, better broken, and they're free of excessive play. You'll do the landing gear crank when you get to the other side. Walker light. Properly mounted, secure, not cracked or broken, amber and color functions properly. This light has three functions. It's my running light, my left turn signal, and my four-way hazard. I'll check the right side the same way because that's my right turn signal. Okay. Behind your side skirts, you have two air hoses and you have an ABS wire. Air hoses, properly mounted, secure, no braces, bolts, cuts, no leaks. ABS wire, properly mounted, secure, not burnt, bare, or corroded. And they are no less than 18 inches off the ground. Right here you have your sliding tandem frame. Sliding tandem frame, properly mounted, secure, not cracked, better broken, free of illegal welds or drill holes. My locking pins, I have two on each side, four in total. Properly mounted, secure, not cracked, better broken, and in the locked position. Then I have my tandem release lever, properly mounted, secure, not cracked, better broken, and in the locked position. Okay. Brakes are exactly the same, guys, so I'm not even going to go over those. All right, they're the exact same as everywhere else. All right, depending on your trailer, you need to identify what kind of suspension you have. Most of the trucks have leaf spring suspension. Some of them do have airbags. All right, best way to do this is just climb right up underneath, like so. And you can see everything, all right? So, leaf spring hanger torque control arm mount. Properly mounted, secured, not cracked, better broken. Top one's my leaf spring. Properly mounted, secured, not cracked, better broken. And there's no signs of scissoring. Bottom one's my torque arm. Properly mounted, secured, not cracked, better broken. My saddle block and spacer. Properly mounted, secured, not cracked, better broken. Held in place by two U-bolts. Properly mounted, secured, not cracked, better broken. And showed no signs of looseness via shiny metal threads or rust trails. Right, back out. Get out to your tires. One spacing rim. Properly mounted, secure, not cracked, better broken. Rims can touch, tires cannot, and it is free of debris. My tires, properly mounted, secured. Inflation, 100 to 110 psi. Condition evenly worn. Tread depth no less than 2 30 seconds of an inch. Valves, or there's no braces, bolts, or cuts on my sidewall. There's no signs of leaking around the beam. My valve stems are properly mounted and secured, not cracked, better broken. There's no signs of leaks and the cap is present. Rim, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, better broken, free of illegal welds and drill holes. Lug nuts, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, better broken. There's no signs of looseness via shiny metal threads or loose trails. And my hub seal, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, better broken, and there's no signs of leaks. Mud flap bracket, properly mounted, secured, not cracked, better broken. Mud flap, properly mounted, secured, and no more than eight inches off the ground. My door tie, properly mounted, secured, not cracked, better broken. ABS light, properly mounted, secured, not cracked, and broken. Yellow in color, functions properly. Walker light, properly mounted, secured, not cracked, and broken. Red in color, functions properly. That Trailer. Start off with the DOT reflective tape around my door. Properly mounted and secured, at least 80% visible. My door, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, better broken, functions properly. Door hinges, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, better broken. And 
it operates smoothly. Door sealed. Probably bad and secure, not cracked, dry rotted, or faded. And my door latches. Probably bad and secure, not cracked, or broken. That is how you fully inspect your door, including the door tie on the side. Uh, all those components. Now I'm going to come down to my lights. Best way to remember it, three, two, one. Left outside tail light, properly mounted, secure, not cracked or broken, ready to color, functions properly, this light has three functions. Left turn signal, four-way hazard, and a running light. My left inside tail light, properly mounted, secure, not cracked or broken, ready to color, functions properly, this light has two functions. Running light and brake light. Check the right side the same way, except that's my right turn signal. My marker lights, properly mounted, secure, not cracked or broken, ready to color. They were up top, they'd be clearance lights. And that's the difference between marker and clearance. My license plate light, properly mounted, secure, not cracked or broken, clear in color, functions properly. My DOT bumper, properly mounted, secure, not cracked, then broken, and it's no more than 24 inches off the ground. And the reflective tape is properly mounted, secure, and at least 8% visible. All right, from there, with most of our trailers, you'll come down this side just to do the landing gear lift. However, this trailer, like I told you guys yesterday, has a standalone right turn signal. My right turn signal and four-way hazard. Properly mounted and secured, not cracked or broken, amber in color. Landing gear lever, properly mounted and secured, not cracked or broken. And it's in the stone position. See. Most of our trailers don't have these lights. We only have two that have standalone right turns. Everything else, you only got to come from this side if you're landing your levers on this side. Let's see, guys.